Fight! Well, my friend, both Anatomy Sweat, but I have no idea how to power it, test it, and let alone to plug it into a TV. So after testing it, clean it, and change the fan with the Noctua because it was annoyingly loud, it was time to make a kit for him so he could enjoy it properly. First, he needed a super gun minigun. <clears throat> a minigun, I was saying, a meanwhile 12 volt, 5 volt power supply and all was left was to plug it into my TV setup and a Neo Geo controller to test it properly. But it turned out quickly that some buttons were missing on some games. Since I can print large objects, I went like, okay, let's make a new controller from scratch. I still have some third-party parts like knockoff Sanwa buttons and joystick, as long as some Neo Geo card replacements. All was left was doing a 3D model and printing. And sure enough, after some days yelling after Fusion 360, I made one. Only left was to let the printer do its job slap it together with a knock of parts and call it a day. Except not really. The printing due to either an horrible filament or printer going up sh I don't know. Uh, the prints come off horribly wrong. Major bending, wrapping, gap, broken part, structure issue and even some dimension off. Rather than throwing what will be close to 600 gram of filaments and 712 power of printing, I decided to do my best to saving it. So I start by using milliputs and try to fill all the gap I could, uh, trying to give some strength to the build and correct the wrapping as best as I could. And of course, uh, correct the dimension with the drill and uh, send everything to see where it was going. So after a rough sending, this is where I am. Uh, this is still not perfect. This is really, really a shame because I really wanted to just print it and forget it. But unfortunately, the quality of the printer is not really, really matching. So. It is still curved, but it's a bit better. Uh, still have to make some pass here, but the sides are now really better. And uh, yeah, now it's smooth here, it's smooth there. Yeah, it's not really, still have some gaps because every time I'm sending. I have the feeling like I'm making the structure even worse. If I put it flat like that, and I check, you can see it's still a bit bent. It's it's really better, but you know, could be a bit better. So yeah, as you can see, it's meh. Especially here, you can see it's like really, I really have a big, a big gap. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I will try to use some uh, epoxy. So, this is supposedly to uh, coat, put a coat on your 3D print and make it really smooth. Uh, I've seen what he, uh, what he has done uh, with that, it's really impressive. So. What I'm going to do, it's put this upside down, put some tape around, really flush, so I will have the tape uh, flat, the, the, the edge of the, of the tape will be uh, where uh, the height is supposed to be. Flip that, so I will have the tape here. And I should know which height uh, I should pour the resin. So I have no idea how this thing is working. I think it's uh, it's a two-part, yeah, it's a two-part thing. And uh, I think it's a two volume of uh, A and a one volume of B or something like that. And then you mix it and then you pour it. So I will try to do that and then I will have to sand it again. 
Again, this is not something you're supposed to do. This is something you're supposed to just finish. And um, if uh, you don't have your prints going really bad, you're supposed just to print it and forget it. So yeah, I will try to do that. So now you can see the thickness which I miss. So hopefully I just need now to pour some resin and uh, I will have something really flat and I could sand uh, the rest of it. Maybe I will have to put on the on the button. I will check that. Okay, so I've just put uh, the coating everywhere here. Let's try to drag a maximum. Uh, so eventually I will have uh, a flat surface here. Still haven't done that. I'm going to wait for this uh, side and I try to put there, but I should uh, use less than this side. Okay, so I've done the wood surface. I put a lot, a lot of resin, so I will have to wait to pause multiple days. So this project is not going to go anywhere uh, anytime soon. So see you when everything is cured. So it's been uh, around uh, 24 hours of uh, curing the epoxy. And uh, yeah, you can see it's really shiny. And it's really 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 much better so now it's a bit bumpy here because the uh, the epoxy doesn't uh, didn't like uh, spread all the way but just stag here yeah here you can see how it uh, it's really above the uh, corner I wanted but it's fine I, I, I prefer this is really like way much more so I can trim it down send it down rather than uh, like make another uh, coat oh boy okay okay so hopefully you will see how much 
See that? It's exactly what I wanted. See that? It's really cool. Oh, it's a bit of pain to remove where the epoxy has cured. I'm going to sand it anyway. There you go. I'm really, really pleased with that. Oh yeah. See? I have like three millimeters of epoxy. Oh, this is really, really cool. So now, if I put this plank of MDF, ah, this is so much better. So yeah, so now the outside are a bit too bumpy, but this is so much better. can see how flat now it is. Ah, oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. This is my, really my first time with so much epoxy uh, rather than just welding stuff. And I'm really, really, really pleased with the result. I think I'm going to do more stuff with the uh, epoxy. Uh, I still have this side to... Uh, you know what? I'm going to make another batch. And I'm going to uh, coat all the side. So eventually this is going to fill all the cavities and going to add more um, uh, strength uh, of the build because you can see here even if, if I put some some putty I still have some gaps and you can feel at some uh, really thin place like there which is like a really uh, uh, thin if you compare to the strong bill here you can sometimes hear cracking because I still have some uh, structural issues I also need to clean the inside a bit just sanding here I'm going what I'm going to do I'm going to clean the inside with some uh, sandpaper uh, probably 80 grits to get a rough uh, inside um, like no more stuff like that um, then put some coat inside because inside I don't care if it's not sending or, or uh, anything put a coat on the outside and then uh, use the uh, grind, um, the, the uh, ascender to have everything nice, smooth, and uh, flat. And we should finally finish what should be just straight off of the uh, printer. So uh, it's been like 24 hours of curing. Uh, I have some drops here on the outside. It doesn't matter. I'm going to sand it uh, anyway. Uh, it's not sticky anymore. Uh, I don't really care about the inside. I guess it's really, really shiny. Uh, I got some weird stuff here, and eventually because of my brush. But uh, yeah, now I'm going to send it everything uh, not on the camera uh, I think I should uh, I will do that outside because of the epoxy going to make some powder not uh, really healthy 
and uh, yeah the outside is not quite as good as expected it's quite uneven uh, maybe because again of the brush so yeah here it got a lot of epoxy here not so much uh, I was trying to fill all the gaps but uh, anyway after that sand uh, put some primer uh, primer and filler eventually put some putty uh, at the spot really if I still have some cavities re increase the size of the button but it's way way more sturdier and I don't have the you know the the, the feeling it's going to split or anything it's way more uh, I'm way more confident about the the strength uh, of the print again this is well if you want to have a finish yes you can put some resin to, to coat but here this is more about uh, having something like actually uh, usable so uh, yeah now I'm going to spend quite a bit of time outside trying to send everything I'm going to start with an 80 grit first get a rough uh, surface and a quite finish with a 220 uh, I don't think I'm going to need to be um, I use a smaller grit than 220 because I'm going to prime it and uh, should be should be okay so jump cut so it's uh, finished 220 grit uh, try to remove uh, most of the drop uh, on the side it's not perfect uh, the more I'm looking at the surface you can well you have the feeling it's really smooth but when you check on the light you can see there's a lot of imperfection uh, like there I can see it could still have but when you touch it you, you can really really barely uh, feel it on the touch same on the side there's a side some place are really really um, seems rough when you when you look at it but it's really really smooth uh, you can feel some uh, differences because you have uh, some real gap here uh, I still have some um, holes that here and a big issue here you can see so um, I don't think I'm going to fight again that because right now now it's way more flat uh, like it should be and um, yeah at, at this point it's like should I be a really perfectionist or should I just say okay it's good enough and it will be fine because eventually we're going to cover it with uh, um, an artwork so what I'm going to do now it's um, prime everything inside included because I don't like like the the the, the shiny inside redo the hole uh, I need so the support but well for my case I want to use it but I put some support if you want to uh, put a zero delay uh, USB or a brook USB um, but here yeah, the hole here which is supposed to get the metal plates I'm going to put at the end and um, once it's done the outside which eventually going to be sanded again for a second pass of primer see if it's okay eventually like sand uh, reprime sand etc trying to fill the obvious ugly gaps if I have some which uh, I uh, really want to get rid of and then pen it and uh, this one should be in black but when you feel it here it's really really smooth it's wow I can't wait to paint it so um, not sure if I'm going to film if I'm going to paint it um, maybe the outside but uh, anyway next step priming so this is the first pass of primer uh, the top is really 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 nice 
uh, still have some weird stuff here, it's just like beveled or something. Uh, eventually it's just because when I put the tape it went like not straight but a bit uh, with an angle so yeah it's a bit weird here but should be fine however as I suspected uh, I have some uh, weird stuff well not weird stuff but I have still some gap uh, even with the epoxy uh, it's pretty obvious here here this is way much better than the first uh, print I've uh, get a lot of uh, structure uh, issue uh, now nailed down but we are now in the cosmetic uh, area I would say so yeah here uh, here just small spots here um, yeah this is because I, I use a brush you know so I didn't put everything on the side uh, we are on the top of just pour the epoxy on the top so yeah it's, it's not perfect and uh, there's some stuff I'm not sure you're going to catch on the camera but here you can see this is when you 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 pass your finger you can see like it's not really sanded well um, there's some problem with the buttons but it's fine it's going to be covered uh, by the sun was anyway so yeah I'm getting close to something acceptable uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel that uh, I don't want to do epoxy again even if I like like major gaps here um, I could do milliput again just some um, just few uh, a few, really, really little of a mini pot or so this is some uh, bando uh, which is support for uh, cars uh, used on body filler metal wood fiber fiber glasses on sanded primer and paint so I already use bando on wood which is really stink so that's why I'm not really uh, eager to try but yeah, it's for repair. I want to, to give a shot to at least see if it's working properly with uh, 3D print. Uh, I'm not sure for the really... I, I have two very large gap here. It's like mostly aesthetic, but, uh, but for now I'm going to try the bandeau and uh, try to fill the gaps. So uh, I went a bit more on uh, icing cake rather than making touches. Uh, the product is drying extremely fast. Uh, so the good thing is I'm going to be able to sand really quickly. The bad news is it's kind of hard to apply. So it's between 25, 20 and 25 minutes uh, for um, resting and of course I shouldn't have to make big pass because it's turning to crack anyway Early I'm going to well they said we should use 320 or 400 grits but uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm going to to use still my 20 my 220 
and then make a second pass. Eventually, I'm going to buy uh, a 300 or 400. Uh, maybe going directly with the triple zero and uh, wet sanding after a second pass, and uh, try to have some kind of mirror uh, or at least a bit shiny uh, black paint. So yeah, see you after the sanding. So I uh, just finished to sand. Still not sure, um, but the border here still a bit rough and bumpy. Uh, everything else seems fine. I'm still unsure about certain area. But uh, yeah, at least I can see that there are way more gaps feel. But here I can still sense there's slightly some gaps. So honestly, I don't think it's uh, worth the work to try to hide everything. I'm going to be after that um, really close at what to, uh, a print should be. So I'm just going to increase the holes and uh, paint the um, not sure well just to review a pass of the of, uh, of primer and see if I need the second pass which will be what technically the third Painting time. So here's the uh, pass of primer. Uh, again, it's not perfect. It's like I still have some gaps here, here, uh, on the side, there. Even if I put some fill, some uh, bondo, I get still some details, and uh, also the uh, coloration between the red uh, bondo and the rest is making like difference uh, so I think I'm going to wet sand with uh, steel wool uh, trying to get a smooth surface put a second coat and uh, of a second coat of primer and then start start painting and I think we should uh, we should be uh, we should be fine. Yeah, I still have some different. I can feel with my finger. I still have some difference here. I can feel with my finger. So yeah, it's we're getting close to have something uh, acceptable. I will say. So this is the second pass, uh, well, the third pass of primer, again this is not perfect, I still have some gaps even with the bondo, uh, yeah, you can see imperfection, uh, I think I'm going to call it and say good enough. 
uh, I really want to paint today. Uh, so just a last pass of wet sanding and uh, after that this is going to be uh, the paint and I'm going to show you uh, my, <laughs> my ghetto paint booth uh, just to give you an idea on how I'm painting the stuff. So it's time for the uh, painting. Uh, eventually, it is going to be two coats and um, maybe one wet sanding and uh, again painting. I really want a, a mirror finish. Uh, so yeah, I will uh, show you my uh, pen booth. So this is uh, currently how my uh, pen booth is uh, looking. This is just a cardboard uh, with a filter uh, on the back, and I have on the bottom a shop vac, uh, which is uh, trying to. Uh, suck from the back and um, get rid of the uh, of the fume. Well, I'm not really. I don't really care about the fumes uh, because I'm, I'm uh, in my basement. But more about uh, not putting paint everywhere uh, in my small uh, workshop. So yeah, this is just like that and um, painting. Beyond that, I will try to paint, but. Uh, yeah, the sound may be uh, absolutely awful because the shop vac is making a hell of a noise. So, here it is. And it's not really, not really pretty, unfortunately, because as I expected, everything which is like all the small error, everything, well, is now visible, but should be fine. Uh, uh, in the meantime, I already work on the electronic. So I prepare the uh, cable. Uh, to the buttons uh, with the common ground and all the buttons I got the uh, harness for the joystick uh, I respect the Brook uh, connection for the Brook Universal uh, uh, fighting board like if my friend want to reuse the stick and uh, change the electronic uh, I can just unplug remove this adaptator I've made where I will plug on the side the uh, Neo Geo cable here and just plug the uh, I think it's right like that just plug so when he uh, if, if someday you want to remove what's what's inside to put something else he will have just to plug remove the cable and he will like have everything ready to uh, have something else it's a bit long but yeah we'll just uh, put some zip tight and it should be fine. So yeah, I will uh, Try to find a good uh, time to uh, Finish that and I will do the uh, electronic inside So I finished to crimp all the uh, 15 uh, wires, so I won't put the sleeve, uh, right now the Dupont sleeve. Uh, what I'm going to do is just plug them, like I know uh, the grey one, the dark grey one is the plus 5 volt. Uh, I think uh, the brown one is the ground, so 
what I'm going to do is uh, properly trace, uh, trace everything like plug everything try each one of them so when it's done I will just have to plug the, uh, her the harness uh, for the buttons and the um, joysticks uh, eventually this is going to be when I'm going to plug the joystick on the uh, atomish wave and um, after I know like this one is really the button one the button two and uh, I have the proper layout uh, then I will just put the sleeve and uh, when it's done I'm going to tie up the uh, zip tie and uh, organize all the wire problem is I'm going to show you like even if I'm pu I put a microfiber cloth underneath I still have wet stuff uh, as you can see I have the pattern of the of the uh, cloth and I don't know why on the top here this is like really marked eventually I'm going just to print a layout, uh, a layout on the top and uh, this is going to uh, hide all my crimes hopefully so I got the artwork uh, so uh, it's already laminated if you want to see how I'm uh, making uh, stickers and other artwork you can check the video I did uh, there in the corner so now I just have to cut on the corner here and um, just place, place it and then I will just use an exacto with a, a new blade and uh, cut everything so I could put the uh, buttons. So the cut is not really perfect uh, as expected the corner here was a bit beveled so yeah that should do it but at least now I don't have any 
weird stuff. This is really flat thanks to the thickness of the paper and the laminate. Let's go! So I uh, still need to make some adjustments for the pinout uh, from the um, uh, Neo Geo and um, Atomic Wave uh, to see if it's working. Right now I just configure uh, the uh, harness to my uh, breaking board uh, like to be sure I have up, down, left, right, punch, kick, start and select. Now I have to make it work uh, with most of the configuration because uh, Atomi Shwev have mostly only five buttons. So should I make like this one Neo Geo and this one for Atomi Shwev or this one or this one? I will check with my friend to see what he wants exactly. Uh, but yeah, just testing and uh, we should be uh, good to go. I need to uh, make the bottom and uh, some cable management that you can see but we should be close to uh, finish this stick uh, I finished to wire everything inside so the only pieces missing is the back uh, and I've already cut a metal sheet for the back so yeah it's not really straight but it should be fine so the goal is I cannot put something along here because obviously of the cable here I don't care but what I'm going to do is two small screw here uh, like really thin one just to avoid uh, the the metal plate to bow and on the side I'm not really sure how this is going to be because uh, the finishing fit I want to use use a really large a lot of a way larger screw than I expected so maybe I'm going to put thinner one it doesn't matter really because it's not really supposed to like hold the structure but just to close on the back so uh, what I'm going to do is small one here uh, eventually 2 mm two, uh, M2 but really small and uh, here M2.5 um, long enough to uh, screw the feet and the bottom so let's do this So I guess it's time to twist it with some metal slug and uh, King of Fighter. So uh, I've just uh, powered the um, Atomish Wave 
into the system menu. I'll try to show you. So you can see the uh, atomic wave powered uh, with the power supply and uh, the super gun. It's linked into RGB into my frame meister. Up, down, left, right. Shot one, shot two, two. So one, two, three, four, five. So six is not, as you can see, is not linked to anything. I could have put it into the test, but yeah, and of course, start on start and coin here. So yeah, working uh, perfectly fine. So here the final product. Uh, this is far, far to be perfect. Uh, the all the mistakes, as you can see here, drive me nuts. Uh, it's my fig and print sticking some at some point of the of the print. Um, the bottom is not perfect. You see, like it's still bending uh, because my cut was not really like the the best and yeah so anyway you will find all the uh, STL file to print it yourself uh, as long as the um, layout uh, for the artwork and for the metal plate on the bottom so anyway I hope you like it and uh, thanks for watching and see you soon